In their latest earnings release, Square Enix reported a profit drop of 69% year over year, which of course sounds awful for them. And not only did we hear that they are completely done with PlayStation exclusivity because they're trying to find some way to stay afloat, but we're also hearing that they are planning major layoffs in the US and Europe. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. So I recently did cover this in a video, but I thought I would reference it again quickly. Square Enix is done with PlayStation exclusivity after profit drops. Even though Square Enix and Sony's partnership goes back years, something has to change for the public publisher it has realized, and that includes getting its biggest games outside of the reach of a single console. Now, of course, this has always been a no-brainer. We as customers have always said, when you put your product on only one console, you are pushing away a large amount of people who would buy it, but unfortunately uh, for the company, and Square Enix in this case, you are making it so that people cannot monetarily support you. There are tons of people who have said over the years that they would have bought their games if they simply were not console exclusives. And of course, they've still made money off of exclusivity, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, we are clearly seeing them panicking, trying to find any way to make money because... In their latest earnings release, Square Enix reported a profit drop of 69% year over year. And yes, of course, this is in part to MMO and mobile declines, but also a plethora of things. Um, and now they are actively pursuing a multi-platform strategy that includes Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and PCs. And this all really stems from a couple of failures and a couple of game releases that have not done all that well for them. First of all, they've, over the past couple of you know years been trying to push nfts and blockchain tech that people have not really resonated with and while they've only released one true nft product it was an absolute bomb for them it was a failure then of course we had final fantasy 16 last year which still did good but it from what we heard what we've heard did not do exactly what they were hoping and that did even better than this year's final fantasy 7 rebirth which we have heard was a financial failure for them and never mind the massive bomb of forspoken earlier last year which of course cost them hundreds of millions of dollars it was a flop and they were really hoping it was going to be some big new ip that they were going to be able to make a lot of money off of and that just didn't happen so we've seen quite a few failures for Square Enix, and that is, you know, putting aside um, them pushing customers away with the way that they've acted towards things like localization and, of course, censorship and just not being very innovative and pushing out remakes and remasters when that can make them some money, but people are kind of over constant remakes and remasters and reboots. But now we're hearing not only are they aggressively pursuing a multi-platform strategy, but they are going to be laying off employees in the US and Europe. It says Square Enix is set to become the latest game company to put employees out of work as the company has confirmed it will soon be imposing layoffs at its U.S. and E.U. offices. Now, of course, we've seen this happening a lot within the industry. There are tons of companies who are saying that, you know, profits are declining, the room, uh, you know, to grow is narrowing, and we need to find ways to basically cut costs. And that typically ends up being canceling projects, even if they're years in the making, but also laying off employees. It says, hints of trouble first came to light in Square Enix's new medium-term business plan revealed earlier today, which of course, this is not today, this was just when the article was written, in which it laid out a strategy to aggressively pursue multi-platform game development, as well as initiate 
initiative designed to win over PC users, which represent a growth market. And this is true. We've heard from many companies over the past couple of months that they wanted to, you know, focus more on aggressively pursuing the PC game market. Uh, it says that all sounds well and good, but the bad news was buried deeper in the document under the header Rebuild Overseas Business Divisions from the Ground Up, which says Square Enix has begun optimizing costs at its European and American offices via structural reforms. And that means that there are probably going to be hundreds to thousands of employees throughout these offices that are going to be laid off. And we don't have any specific numbers, but it does prove that Square Enix is fucked right now. They are desperately trying to find ways to cut costs and stay afloat. Um, over the years, we've we've called out things like their internal ethics department. I hope that they get rid of all of those people first and foremost because they are the most useless employees that they have. But it seems like, yes, there have been, um, you know, the signs that they have been doing bad. And that's not just the internal ethics department and censorship, but also their struggling to come up with new ideas so they're doing all these remakes and reboots and they could have simply come out with a closer to a one-to-one -one remake of Final Fantasy 7 but instead they thought that they had this brilliant idea of cutting it into three parts and making it this massive spanning trilogy and while the two games that have come out so far have been good don't get me wrong I still prefer the original Final Fantasy 7 and most people do and that is why we are seeing games like that not do as well as they originally anticipated they had gold on their hands and instead decided to try to milk customers for all we are worth and it's just not happening anymore if they actually listen to us and stopped investing in NFT and blockchain games and you know we're actually creating new content or doing remakes that were actually remakes instead of complete and utter reimaginings that really don't resemble the original games they're based off of except for characters and general story elements they'd probably be doing better and of course they should have never gone for this exclusivity the days of exclusivity in the gaming industry are clearly done every developer that's done it so far has been saying well that wasn't the best plan that we came up with or well we expected it to go a little better but it was still a profitable partnership i don't think that square edix is going to um ever go exclusive again and i think that many development groups that have exclusive games are kind of shifting away from that and they're simply trying to get their products to as many people as possible which as gamers we have said for years at this point is the strategy we have said put your games on as many platforms as possible so that everyone who wants to play it can actually play it and not feel like they have to go out and buy a $500 console. So it will be interesting to see what else is announced with this restructuring program that they have and how many employees actually get laid off. But one thing's for certain, Square Enix is totally and completely fucked right now. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.